In this video I'll show you how to fix your pairing problem you're having with your Oculus Quest 3 controller. So if the controller is not recognized anymore by your Quest 3, I'll show you a few solutions that you can apply and fix this problem. So let's start with the easiest one. So the first step is to insert a brand new battery inside of your controller. I know it sounds obvious, but sometimes even if it's showing 15% left or 5% left on your headset, many times uh, this number is not accurate and it's uh, your battery is actually dead inside of your controller. So go ahead, remove this cap and replace the battery with a new one. If this didn't work, another problem is uh, often the battery is loose inside of the controller itself. You, you know that you have this problem if when you close the lid over here and you shake it, you feel the battery moving inside. It's not supposed to move. So what you'll need to do then is simply remove the battery and you'll need to take some toilet paper or any sort of, I don't know, paper like this, a paper towel, something uh, like that. Take a piece uh, of this size or it can even be smaller. Let me remove some of here. And then what you're going to do is to wrap the battery with this paper so it stays snugly inside and it stops moving. So I'm going to roll it like that and it depends on your battery. You know, right now I have put maybe uh, three layers of paper, but maybe you only need two or maybe just one layer. So put back the battery, make sure that the contacts are actually touching the controller because this is very important and then put back this lid. Hopefully the battery is now uh, firmly in place and the controller will be usable. If this didn't work, I'll show you how to unpair the controller from your Quest 3 and pair it again as a brand new controller. So to do this, you're going to remove the battery from the controller. Okay. And now turn on your Quest 3. Next step is to go on the Meta Quest app on your smartphone. From this screen, you're going to tap on Menu. And here you should select Devices, Devices right in the middle, then Quest 3. And here you're going to see the battery left inside of your Quest 3 and the controller that is not working, that you have removed the battery, well, it should be grayed out like this. Then you're going to go down where you see Headset Settings. And then in this menu, you should see Controllers over here, the second option, Controllers, tap on it. And let's say, Let's say that the right side controller wasn't working. Well, you're going to tap on right controller and then select unpair controller. Then you're going to click on pair. Okay, great. So the next step is to turn off your Quest 3. Shut it down completely. Then what you need to do is to take a brand new battery and insert it in the controller. Then turn on your Meta Quest 3. Then you're going to take back your app, uh, the Meta Quest app. Go over here, go in menu. Again, devices. Then Meta Quest 3. Then you're going to go down in headset settings, same place we went uh, earlier, controllers. And now we're going to tap on pair new controller. And now this is the right side. So we're going to select pair uh, Meta Quest 3 right controller. It will ask you to hold down the Meta logo and the B button together on the right side controller for four seconds until it vibrates. So I'm pressing the Meta and the B button both at the same time waiting for a vibration. Okay, I felt the vibration. I can release those two buttons. Now wait a bit and you're going to get this message right controller paired. Press continue, press done and you're good to go. Now you can wear the headset and the controller should be working again as it's supposed to do. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have other tricks on how to fix this controller problem, 
please write them in the comments down below. I'm sure somebody will be very grateful to find this. And uh, yeah, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video.